This is Chicago's very own WGN Morning News at 8. And we're talking to former Miss USA Olivia Jordan about the infamous Steve Harvey Miss Universe mistake and that other stuff as well. Stay with us. Hey, Marcus. Good morning. We're talking about what's true. There's, I have to apologize. The first runner up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. Oh. That, I still, I still cannot believe that happened. And she was standing right there. It was one of the worst blunders in beauty pageant history. Comedian Steve Harvey announced the wrong winner in the Miss Universe contest. Miss USA 2015 Olivia Jordan was there, standing, holding a bouquet next to Miss <laughs> Philippines. Yes. You guys have been like, this is a joke. Come on. It now. really. I, I honestly thought that Steve was joking when he right. came back out, like he was going to put some last punchline on, but he wasn't. It was such a crazy moment. And it's been so crazy even since then that it's still sort of this topic of conversation. It's been six months. Right. But it, it really changed, I mean, both of those women's lives entirely. And luckily for Miss Columbia, who the crown was taken from her, it really has opened so many doors for her. She's done fantastic since then. She just started a Vin Diesel movie. So <laughs> as horrible as it was, <laughs> it, it doesn't get any better. It yeah. worked out. Everything works out for, for some crazy reason. and and as she said right after that that wasn't her destiny and yeah. even bigger things in store for her well you would I mean it's true I mean outside of you know the people that you compete against a lot of people are like all right Miss USA in 2013 was the every person would forget <laughs> yeah. but now yeah. everyone remembers that so it's like uh, there's a silver lining on these there things is, right yes I've been very grateful the Filipino community has been very supportive of me because as you saw I was standing next yeah I got to be the one to tell her this is real you are Miss Universe so she w she's been incredible and she's of course halfway into her reign and, and doing great things so and you're all done and what happens when your reign is over as Miss USA you know, it's crazy. You, they kick you out of the apartment in New York and throw you on the street. No, I've been traveling around, so um, it's been incredible. This year I've learned how to use my voice to make a difference, and my major cause is the Alzheimer's Association, and my dad is one of the reasons that I got involved in that, and he's also one of the co-founders of Senior Star. So um, I've been on a Senior Star tour to all of his properties, and I'll be at Weber Place today joining together, thanking them for their support of the Alzheimer's Association and, and leading a discussion in that. She's always so, look at how nice and happy she is. Isn't she <laughs> great? Yeah, you know, the pageants, we've been watching them for years and years and years. They don't seem like they change that much. Have they changed? Have we missed something? You know, I think that what's amazing is it's always a different woman that wins. So I think every year it's, it's always a little bit different. And I could be the first woman from Oklahoma. And so hopefully inspire some, some women from Oklahoma and some young girls to believe in their dreams and believe, even though something hasn't happened before, that it can happen. And now we have our, our new winner is from D.C. And she is in the Army Reserves. And I think she's representing a wonderful thing, that you can be powerful and strong and also mm -hmm. be graceful in a bikini. So there's got to be some. Un, there's got to be some weird. I mean, we see toddlers and tiaras and people starting at pageants yeah. from <laughs> from back then. But behind the scenes, is it pretty competitive? I mean, is there a lot of uh, people like you? You know, you got to do this, you got to do that, or is it <laughs> is it you know is it all made up? It's definitely competitive. I mean, these are women. We're going after our, our biggest dreams. So there is that aspect. But I've always found it to be very supportive. Uh, these women, they're confident, and so they are empowered, and they're doing something that they believe in and they're using their voices to to bring light to causes that are meaningful to them so I see it as very positive and even yesterday I was in it's it's been a whirlwind week but yesterday I was in uh, Dublin Ohio at one of the senior star properties there and Miss Ohio USA from this year and Miss Ohio Teen USA came out and surprised me to support me they drove two hours just to support me and it's that kind of thing that it's a wonderful sisterhood, really. See, I, you know, great I, to meet I you. couldn't be a pageant person because I'm not positive well, enough. Well, that's not the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's the you only reason. You can do Thank it. You. <laughs> See how nice she is? This yeah. is? She's lovely. Thank you to Olivia for being Thanks, here. Olivia. And uh, for people who want to see her today, 2 to 3, at uh, the Senior Star Weber Place in Romeoville. Thanks for being here, Olivia. Thank you Thank so you. much. I appreciate you all. Hey, hey Paul. Paul. All right, you guys. Uh, today. We'll